Hello everyone and welcome back to Hannah's Happy Home and welcome to our 2024 house tour. I've been doing a house tour every year for the last four years and it's always fun to once a year walk you through the house, show you what has changed, how far the house has come. Our home is here in Southern Arizona and we purchased this home back in February 2020 and we moved into the home in the spring of 2020. And back four years ago, we started completely renovating this home from top to bottom. It does not look Look like the same house and you will get to see before and afters as I walk you through the home and I'll kind of just briefly tell you what we've done to each room so far and I'm also going to be just walking you around our entire property in this video showing you every outbuilding and just everything here on our property and in and outside of our home the front of this house has changed drastically over the last four years so this house used to be orange and the stucco had a lot of cracks in it we did so much work to the outside of this house and there was so much much prep work that had to be done before we could put on this total wall stucco and then we did also paint these windows a matte black as well someday we would love to replace all of the windows with brand new black windows but for now the paint does work we did new landscaping out front here as well and added gravel and this concrete curb we tried to choose plants to put out here that did really well in the heat because this part of the house gets that really hot afternoon sun so we did some okatia we've got three different okatia plants here we put some Texas sage bushes, which are very hardy, and we've also got some cactus there at the corner. This is our largest okatia plant here at the corner, and then you walk into the front patio, which right here at this entrance, there used to be two large archways, and then there was quite a large wall here in the middle. As soon as we purchased the home, we knew that one of the first things we wanted to do was to remove this wall and then just do some large wooden beams to frame out this opening. This was a huge job because this top beam was extremely heavy. They had to deliver it in a large truck we had to borrow a loader to lift this into place and then we also secured some skinnier beams here on the side and then just stained those and sealed them with an exterior sealer we do have this very unique pine tree here on our front patio and we just can't bring ourselves to cut this down it adds a lot of character to the home we have tried to put furniture out here before and we just never really sit out on this front patio because we do have a large back porch which you'll see here in a little bit so that is where we spend most of our time so right now we're trying to decide what what could we do with this front patio space? We've been trying to brainstorm ideas. Please leave all of your suggestions down below. We've thought of building like a pergola, some more beams going across to that larger beam, but we're just not quite sure what to do with the rest of this space. There's an arched opening here that leads up to this front door. These are the original front doors and we did so much work to these doors so that we could stain them. There was a lot of scraping and just an entire day of work to get these doors down to where we could stain them, but really love how these turned out we added some handles here from quick set and as you can tell we do not use these front doors like nobody ever comes through this front door so it is very dusty here so when you walk through this front door you walk into the living room and then over here to the right is the hallway back to our three bedrooms and two bathrooms now the house may look spotless clean but don't look too closely I didn't mop the floors or anything and we were running around all morning trying to get everything clean we do have three little boys so it's almost impossible to keep the whole house clean at the same time but the three boys are back playing in the boys' bedroom right now, so hopefully they can stay happy till we finish this house tour. So to the left of the front door, we have this cabinet from Castlery. I do keep my cello right here. I have played cello since I was six years old, and I don't play it as much as I would like now, um, but I do really enjoy playing sometimes. I've got my piano right here in this little cubby. I would love to get an upright baby grand someday, but this piano I found on Facebook Marketplace for a really good price. I painted it with black chalk paint. We also have the mandolin and the guitar back here. Jalen plays the mandolin and Kyle has started guitar lessons the last few months. So this living room was a little bit of an interesting shape to work with and I feel like it took me a couple of years to get it to where we really loved the layout and we loved the furniture in here. When we first purchased this home, these bricks were painted a yellow color and so I just painted them white when we first moved in and then later on we added this stacked stone which we aren't 100% happy with. Now we would have done something a little bit different here but we don't want to have to take it all down. It looks fine. And we did build this faux beam to go right on top of these stones. Mm -hmm. 
So behind me, we've got double glass sliding doors. And when we first moved into the home, there was two metal sliding doors here and they were very rickety. They let in a lot of cold and hot air. So last year we finally replaced them with some really good quality sliding doors. And we just love having all of this glass right here that we can look outside at the beautiful view, watch the kids as they're playing. And that's one of my favorite things about this room is that it just kind of flows to the outside. So speaking of, let's just go ahead and walk you out onto the back porch. So this large back porch is one of the things that sold us on this home. So on this side of the back porch is kind of the outdoor kitchen area. So on this wall, we have got a little outdoor kitchen that we built. This was a DIY project. When we purchased this home, there actually used to be a really large wooden bar that went out onto the middle of the porch here and all the way around and the wood was rotting, was infested with mice. We ended up deciding to just tear that down and we're so glad that we did because it took up a lot of space on this back porch and what we built over here is definitely a lot more functional. I do have these string lights hanging on either side of the porch and these are on a little solar panel which is super nice. They will come on automatically when the sun goes down every night. So down here is the dining area. We've got this table from Article which is actually the same dining room table that we have inside. This is an indoor outdoor table. The chess game is sitting out here because our two older boys love to play chess and they play it multiple times a day out here on the back porch. We've got two little wooden picnic tables and then over here we have a hammock which this is the favorite seat on the back porch. Everyone always loves to sit or lay in this hammock and you've got a really pretty view. Over here is the little patio outside of our bedroom and we did transform this into a little hot tub space. We've got a hot tub here from M Spa and the hot tub is empty right now because it is really hot right now here in the middle of the summer in Arizona. So we usually only use this from fall until spring. Okay, so now we'll head over to the other side of the porch, which is our little seating area. These steps go down into the backyard, which I'll show you a little bit more of this later on in the video, but Jalen worked really hard to get us a nice green backyard and we love this space, love running around out here barefoot with the kids. Three years ago, we lined this back porch with Texas sage bushes and when we planted these, they were only maybe this tall and they have grown so much. Would highly recommend Texas sage bushes because they have thrived. So like I said, this is our outdoor seating area and this sectional is from Article, um, but yet the other furniture is from Best Choice Products as well as our little fire table. Well, this rug has actually stayed white and it has seemed to be a little bit easier to clean than the other rug. I do just take these out and pressure wash them off maybe once a year when I'm doing a big spring cleaning of this back porch. These large windows look into my office and this was our most recent renovation and kind of the last large renovation on this home was to transform this used to be screened in porch into an office. So this pathway takes you around to my office door and also the back door, but we'll go out there a little bit later. Let's head back inside and I'll show you the dining room and just the rest of the main area. Hi. Hi. Go back to Bubby's room, come on. Bye. This is not only our dining room, but it's also our school room. We do homeschool our three boys and this is also where they color, they do crafts. It's just a very functional room. This is just two cabinets from Ikea that we stained. We hung up here on the wall and it makes for a great floating console for this room. On this side, we have all of our games because we also play games at this table. And over on this side of the cabinet is all of the boys' homeschool stuff, their coloring books. And then I did also add this little cart and I've just got some of their different items organized into here. In this corner, we have a faux tree from Nearly Natural. And then this opening goes into my office and we did install some DIY sliding doors right here. We just painted a black stain onto these doors, added the handles. It's very rare that I actually close these doors, but it's just nice to have them framing out this opening. Okay, so now we'll walk into my office. And like I was saying, when we were on the back porch, this room used to be a screened in porch. This was a huge transformation and maybe one of the biggest transformations in this home. This screened in porch was rarely used because it would get so dusty in here. There were so many bugs. So we decided to convert it into a fifth room onto the house and create a home office space. And that's that was a really great decision. We have loved this room. My favorite part about this office is the large windows because when I'm sitting in here editing a video, I'm usually in here all day long. And so it's really nice to be able to still look outside
outside. I feel like I'm kind of outside a little bit. I can watch the kids play. There's just a really great view out this window of the whole back of the property and the mountains and everything. We have a lot of meetings in here with our coffee. Jalen will sit in one of these swivel chairs with his laptop getting some work done while I'm working at my computer. And it's just a very functional space and we've got this large coffee table so you got plenty of room for your laptop, your coffee, whatever. And then we've got this wall of shelves. This is a shelving unit from Ikea and this is three different shelving units I believe that we connected and we attached to this wall. These are very securely attached to this wall. They are not going anywhere. It's fun to be able to switch up this decor and I can use decor pieces as storage. So I've got like wooden bowls and baskets and trays that I can store everything in. I love this desk. It's from Ergon Office and it is a standing desk, which is so nice when I'm working here all day long. So a little bit of behind the scenes. This is the wall where I will stack everything Thing for upcoming videos. So I've got items for an upcoming bedroom makeover, stuff for an organization video, a decorating video. It's just how it goes with the job that I have. I just kind of need a spot where I can stack everything. This side is a calendar whiteboard. So I've got two different months going on. I like to plan two months in advance. And I haven't really talked about the flooring yet, but this flooring is from Lowe's. It is very affordable. I think it's only like $1.50 a square foot. And it is very durable laminate flooring. Got almost like a texture to it. It. it looks pretty realistic and it has held up so well with our three boys and also we've been renovating on this flooring and everything like that. Just a very durable flooring that we would highly recommend. So now we're going to walk through this opening into the kitchen and this opening used to be an archway as well but the arch was so low that Jalen could hardly walk underneath of it. He almost had to duck his head so we got rid of that arch and took it back to the original opening. So we're going to go around this wall and go into the kitchen this way. That way you can get a better view of the kitchen. Okay, so here is the kitchen and when we did this kitchen renovation, we knew that one of the first things we wanted to do was to raise this ceiling. So the original ceiling was down to the tops of these cabinets. So it was a super low ceiling. It felt just kind of like a cave in this kitchen. It was very dark and red. So that definitely helped everything to feel larger. And then we also painted these cabinets white, which did help the kitchen to feel larger as well. Jalen built these cabinets all the way up to the ceiling. We painted that white as well. And now that this kitchen is complete we do wish that we would have added a little bit more color in here there is a lot of white going on white countertop white backsplash but we did try to warm it up with the lighting the shelves and the decor some wooden cutting boards so this countertop is called solid surface and we saved a little bit of money by going with the solid surface it really wasn't that much less than quartz it depends on the quartz that you're choosing um, but we did end up just going with the solid surface we do kind of regret it a little bit just because it should show scratches so easily like looking at it here in the light you can see that it's just covered in scratches which is unfortunate but it is a beautiful countertop and looking at it at first glance you wouldn't notice that it was solid surface over here on this side of the kitchen is where I do all of my cooking and baking and then behind me you can see our newest addition to the kitchen which is our coffee bar there used to just be some old sliding closet doors there and we decided to remove those and create this coffee bar I'll show you a little closer look at that here in a second and then over here we have a large workstation sink. You can have a rollout mat like this for drying dishes or I can put a cutting board on here. It's just been really nice to have all of this space. This is a pull down faucet and then over here we have this faucet that we recently installed. So this is a reverse osmosis water filtration system from Water Drop and a huge thank you to Water Drop for sponsoring today's house tour. Jalen installed this system last week. It was a very easy installation and we love how compact the unit is and the fact that it doesn't take up that much space in the cabinet so this has a nine layer filtration system and it will reduce harmful substances like PFAS, fluoride, lead, chromium, heavy metals, and more. It has three filters, reverse osmosis filter, a pre-sediment and carbon block filter, and an activated carbon filter. This system has 800 GPD ultra capacity, 99.9% .9 UV sterilization. It also has a three to one lower drain ratio so it is more sustainable and it helps to save on our water bill. We usually would fill up our water bottles at the fridge which took forever but now with this water drop faucet we can fill up a glass in just six seconds so this filtration system does work very quickly we do have well water at our house but it is very hard water so this filtration system is going to be very nice to have for our drinking water the front of this faucet has a smart screen display that has a smart filter and TDS indicator overall just loving it so far I will have my link and code down below if you want to 
check it out. Okay, so let's continue on. I'm not gonna show you much in the kitchen cabinets you've seen in there in my home organization videos. I'm gonna give you a quick peek in the pantry when we first walked through this house before we bought it. I was a little bit disappointed that it didn't have a pantry and then I got to the end of the kitchen, opened this door and was so excited to find a walk-in pantry. This pantry is such a blessing to have. You can store so much in here. You guys have seen this pantry a lot in every home organization video just about, but all of this storage has just been awesome. We also have our microwave in here and our toaster, so that does free up some more counter space. Okay, so now we're gonna show you our coffee bar. This is a space that we use every day, sometimes multiple times a day. But like I said, we just love this space. It feels like our own little coffee shop in our house. We did also recently add a full length mirror back here and we are going to raise it up higher. We just haven't done that yet. I know so many of you suggested that we raise it up higher. Okay, so a brief look at this coffee bar. We've got shelves up here. We did a tile and then the coffee station down here. We've got the Breville Barista Express. And then we do have an ice machine over here. This is pebble ice. If you want to see the whole process of creating this coffee bar, I'll link the video down below. So I think at this point in the house tour, I need to pause and make myself an iced coffee. And if you guys were here, I would make you an iced coffee as well. Let me know down in the comments, what is your favorite coffee? So I've got this little glass cup that I love to use for iced coffees. It's got a wooden handle. Um, we are going to make a golden eagle. It's just caramel and vanilla. So if you're building a coffee bar in your home, one thing that I would suggest if it's in the budget is to add like a little sink, especially if you're building a house from scratch and it's easy to add that in. Jalen is my cameraman today. He's behind the camera filming this house tour. This room is also our mud room. We did want to do a little coat hook bench situation, also some storage for shoes. So we did build this little accent wall. We've got hooks for hats and jackets. And down here I have these three foldable baskets that are full of shoes. And the laundry room tile does extend into this bathroom. This is a gray and white tile that is very beautiful, but we should have thought it through a little bit more because doing a white and gray tile in our mud room laundry room when we live in Southern Arizona, we've got three little boys. It's very hard to keep clean. And then in this door is a very messy closet, which I won't show you in there. Jalen's giving me the eye like, are you really gonna open that door? Because this closet is piled full of stuff. Um, we need to put some hooks in here for jackets. There is also a water heater in here, but I will take you out the back door and just quickly show you our carport area. And then we'll head into the boys' bedroom. So this is our back door that goes into that laundry room. Like I said, this is the door that we're always using all the time. We've got everybody's work boots lined up here all of the boys rubber boots and their cowboy boots we've got some of the boys little straw hats here stacked up and lately Owen and Levi have been loving putting feathers in their straw hat all of our bikes are lined up over here Jalen and I have loved our hay bike we love jumping on these in the evening and just cruising around they're super fun to have and then this wall over here usually has some boxes stacked up if we've got projects going on right now we're getting ready to start a bedroom makeover at my brother-in-law's house next week so we've got a mattress we've got pillows we've got furniture over here and we do have a storage room on the other side of this wall which is nice because we don't have a garage so we have this space over here to store all of those types of items so just a lot of storage in here a lot of paint paint brushes all of the things camping equipment kids toys and then we have two deep freezers in here as well which is where we store all of our meat and this carport was quite a transformation there's still a little bit more that we want to do to this carport we'd like to do something to the concrete, maybe like a concrete paint or an epoxy, something like that. This concrete does need something, but we're not quite sure what we'll be doing yet. And then over here, I'll quickly show you outside of my office door. This pathway leads to the back porch. And then right here is my office door. And then we do have this little planter box here. We usually have the hose rolled up right there, but right now we're watering a tree. So it's hot out here. Let's head back inside. I'll walk you around the property once we get to the end of the house tour. I want to show you my pomegranate bush and the shop 
and all of that. So this is our two older boys bedroom and it is also the playroom for all three boys. This has been the perfect room for that. It's a nice large size for all the boys to be in here playing together. So when you first walk in the door, you see this accent wall of peel and stick wallpaper. This is from Wall Blush and it was just a great way to add some color and some fun to their bedroom. These two little organizers are from Ikea and they've been perfect for all of the toys and they're also the perfect height for Levi since this is where he is playing most of the time. And this is the reading corner. This chair is from Article. It's a great low chair, easy for the kids to climb up on here. And the pictures are from Mixed Tiles. These are peel and stick. I've had these for several years and I've moved them twice and we even have textured walls. So would highly recommend Mixed Tiles. I would highly recommend having a large basket on your kid's dresser. It's just a great place for them to throw all of their little items. They have a rock collection, their little wallets and everything. I always get questions about this bunk bed. This bunk bed was from Amazon. It was a really great price. This area right here is where the boys spend the majority of their time. We've got this large table from Article and then these two drawer units from Ikea. And these drawer units are full of Legos. Okay, so we've officially shown you everything on this side of the house. Let's head over to the other side of the house now. Okay, so over on the other side of the house, like I said at the beginning, we've got three bedrooms, two bathrooms, and this is where our main bedroom and bathroom is, and also Levi's room, and then the spare room, and Levi's bathroom slash the guest bathroom. Here at the beginning of the hallway, we have a walk-in storage closet, and there is a lot stored in this closet. It's a little bit messy right now just because it's so full, and it's also where I keep all of my vacuums and my mops. So I think that we might be cutting out these two shelves on the right side and then just doing like a charging station for the vacuums and some hooks for the mops. When we first purchased the home, there used to be shelves on this entire wall, which was a good idea, but it did make this small hallway feel even smaller. So we just took out those shelves and this was a great place to put some photos. So the first room in this hallway is our bedroom and bathroom. When you first walk through the door, there is this little hallway to the right is the the bathroom and then over here on the other side we have got a closet this is my home decor storage closet and I'd like to have a small storage of those items just for future projects videos I'm filming I'll show some before and afters of this bathroom because this bathroom used to be blue red yellow all of the colors it was very dark in here and we just completely transformed this whole room we basically gutted everything out of this bathroom started from scratch and we're very happy with how this room turned out it just feels very cozy in here. We did go with a vinyl wood flooring just to kind of warm up the space. This is a 100% waterproof flooring, so great for a bathroom. Over here in this corner, there used to be a closet, and then you had this weird little sitting area, so we just took all of that out, and we made this an area for a freestanding bathtub. We did a half accent wall around the back of this tub. We hung up this framed canvas, which this is a picture of Cannon Beach, and when we hung this up, we had never visited Cannon Beach, but it was always on my bucket list and last fall we were able to check that off of our bucket list and we actually walked on Cannon Beach it was so beautiful over here we've got hooks for towels and then on the other side of the room is the vanity we found this vanity on Wayfair for a really affordable price and I just switched out the handles we added the faucet and then this large mirror was also from Wayfair over here we have our walk-in shower it's a big job when it comes to cleaning this entire shower but we do really love this shower the tiles that we picked out we went with larger tiles so that it was easier and also it ended up being less grout lines to clean okay so we're gonna head out of the bathroom through this little hallway and into our bedroom now it does look like a construction zone a little bit in here right now because we actually started this project months ago it was right before we started that home renovation at my brother-in-law's house so we kind of just dropped everything here and we're just focusing on that renovation and now that so much time has gone past we are not even sure if we want to do a fireplace here anymore. It's all a little bit still up in the air. We're hoping to do a refresh to this bedroom maybe this fall. So stay tuned for that and we're hoping by then we will have figured out what we want to do with this area. But we really love how this bedroom turned out. It's such a cozy space. We've got the door going outside to the hot tub. Okay so this wall in our bedroom was the wall of closets. Got closet here, 
closet here. This used to be a closet and then you've got a closet here. So that is why we eliminated this closet and this used to actually be my little office area. And then we thought we put a fireplace here, but that is still pending and up in the air. So this is Jalen's closet right here. He does have a walk-in closet and then on the other side is my walk-in closet. And they're both pretty messy, so I won't open those doors right now. And on this wall, we've got our dresser and we would hang the screen on this wall, do the fireplace here and put the dresser over in that nook. The dresser does not fit in that nook, but maybe we should get a smaller dresser and just have it over there. I don't know. Leave all your ideas down below. And that is our bedroom. All right, so let's continue on down the hallway. Door to your left is that third bathroom. This bathroom is currently under construction. We just started this project two weeks ago, so stay tuned to see this bathroom transform. The first thing that we've done in here is to add a wood ceiling. Before I show you Levi's room, we'll go back into our spare bedroom. This little closet just has our water heater and back here is the spare room, which is basically just a storage room. We may eventually try to make this into more of a permanent guest room. We might try to do some type of pull down guest bed. We want to still be able to use this room as a workout room and the boys have their computer in here. So this room has a good size walk-in closet and Jalen turned this closet into his computer area and it made for a really cozy computer space. He did a floating desk on the back wall. All of his computer stuff is stored up on the shelves and he's really liked having this as his little computer space. Okay, so now Levi's gonna help me show you his bedroom and this was his nursery when he was little. He is almost two and a half years old, which is just crazy. I have no idea how he is that old already. He is still in a crib, but this crib does convert into a toddler bed once he gets a little bit bigger. I ordered this on Etsy. You can find quite a few different wooden name signs that you can have custom made on Etsy. This little picture of a fox was from Hobby Lobby. I thought this was super cute and I like the colors as well. I found these wooden hooks at Walmart on clearance for a really good price. It was perfect for this wall. We've got his little backpack and his blanket. This little toy storage unit was from Love Every. It's got some storage in the back. And then the rest of his toys are over in the boys' playroom. Here, let's race cars. You do you do the red car, I'll do the blue. Three, two, one, go! And this rocking chair I have loved. I got this when he was just a tiny little baby. We've got his little basket of books over here. We read a book before nap time and bedtime. Love you like no otter. In here is Levi's closet and since he doesn't really need all of this storage space we also have all of our travel bags in here, suitcases, all of that is stored on this side of the closet. This dresser was an affordable little dresser from Wayfair. It has been great. It's got the two smaller drawers at the top which was perfect for all of the little things that you need when they are babies and it also fit a changing pad perfectly which I guess I need to take this away here one of these days but it's going to be kind of sad. Okay so that's the entire inside of our home. Let's head outside now and I'm going to show you the property, the outbuildings, and all of that. Okay, so this afternoon we're going to walk you around outside on the exterior of the house and just around the property. It's perfect weather out here right now. Our monsoon storms actually just arrived yesterday evening and so it's cloudy right now. We've got storms everywhere. We can see rain down in the valley. So I guess we'll just start off right here at these bushes and I want to show you my pomegranate bush which is down here on the end. I'm so excited that this pomegranate bush is covered in little blue and tiny pomegranates. We didn't get any pomegranates last year due to a late frost. So I was really happy to see all the pomegranates this spring. So stay tuned. I'll be filming when I harvest this and we will make some pomegranate jelly. I'll walk you over to our shop now. And we did give this shop a little bit of a makeover. We painted it this dark gray color, but we did leave the red doors just because we didn't want to go down the road of painting the metal doors and they look just fine being red. It's pretty messy in here. So we're just going to give you a quick overview and then move on. On the left, we've got Jalen's workbench. We have the lawnmower, Levi's little truck, the boys dirt bike and quad, our quad, some tools back here and Jalen has his pair motor over here. So out here we do have a couple of fruit trees. These are both apricot trees and then we do have a little apple tree over here as well. And I wanted to show you the kids play area. This has been just the perfect play area for them. It's underneath the shade of these trees and they've got their play set. Usually the trampoline is over here but right now they have the trampoline over by the swimming pool. 
Three years ago, we completely renovated this shed, turning it into a little barn, and then we gave it another renovation inside and turned it into an area for egg storage and a place where the boys can package the eggs. I'll show a couple of clips of the inside of this barn and what all of that looks like. So over here is my three raised beds, which unfortunately do not have anything planted in them this year. Back behind the raised beds is our well shed, and we did give this a little makeover, painted it, also added some new black hinges and a door handle. Okay, so we've got about 12 acres total here on our property. We've added a few acres since we've moved here, and we do own two acres that direction on the other side of this gate, and that is where our little chicken farm is. So I'll go ahead and show some footage of that that I've shared previously. My husband does run a small chicken farm over there, and then they do package the eggs in that little barn that I showed you. So off of the back porch, we have this little brick walkway that walks out to the fire pit area, and these bricks were original to the house. Um, I wanted to keep them. They do add some character, but we did add some more gravel around this area. Kept the original bricks here and then we've got the fire pit in the middle and then five of these black chairs from Out Sunny. Over here at the edge of the yard we have the boys swimming pool and this is so nice to have during these hot months. The boys are in here multiple times a day and it is a decent little pool so if all of us want to get in um, we can do that and we've been teaching Levi how to swim as well. So we do own seven acres past this fence and beyond this fence we have the boys quad trail and dirt bike trail and then it's just mesquites beyond that. The boys do have some trails and some forts back here and then Jalen does also have a flying field which I want to go back and show you. So this is Jalen's flying field. A few months ago he cleared over an acre of land and got this all packed down nicely and this is where he flies paramotor. We also come out here and fly some large kites that we have. It's just really nice to have this flat open area. Also put some footage in here of him actually flying his paramotor so that you guys can see what that looks like. So I hope that you enjoyed this tour of our property and our home. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave us a comment down below. And if you're new here, I would love to have you subscribe. You just have to click that red subscribe button down below and be sure that all notifications are turned on. Thank you all so much for watching this video today and supporting my channel. We appreciate each of you so much and I will see you next week on Tuesday with a new video. Bye.